What up everybody, it's your boy the Infinite Dragon here, and today we're going to be reacting to Jotaro vs. Kentro, the death battle. I'm excited because I like Jojo's Bizarre Adventure a lot, um, and we do things, I want to start doing things uh, a, a, a bit different every time I do a death battle. Um, first I'm going to predict who's going to win, uh, after I, before I hear the information, and then I'm gonna, after hearing the information about both characters, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, predict who's going to win again, and then... I'm going to have a little challenge. If I'm right, you guys got to like and subscribe to the video. Um, and if I'm not right, I don't know, roast me in the comments or something. I haven't decided out what a punishment is for this. But that's how we're going to do it. So, I'm going to choose Jotaro because I know Jotaro is strong and smart. And he gets out of, literally, the, it's called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, he gets himself out of weird situations somehow. So... Hopefully they stick to the bane of like that uh, in terms of how this fight will go out. But I'm going to go with Jotaro. Uh, enough of me talking. Let's get to this video. Uh, and my, if my roommate and his friend walk in here for some reason, ignore them. They, they're speaking of. No, that's just some other people. Never mind. covered a lot of macho heroes here on death battle but these two are as manly and stoic as they come it's all in those sweet ass jackets i mean i, I guess they're pretty badass too jotaro kujo yes my dude from jojo's bizarre adventure and Kichiro, if you remember from my other jo uh, from my other jojo's videos i said jojo was my or uh, jotaro was my favorite character and it's, it's my favorite uh, armor and skills to find out who jojo will win a death battle that was clashing styles, if I ever saw it. As a teenager, Jotaro Kujo was a fairly infamous troublemaker. But you can just Don't drink, guys. Jojo, like his friend, Unless you're underage. Uh, I mean, if you're underage. Kujo. How bizarre. Right. <laughs> well, being a high school hoodlum isn't What does that say? His bad attitude off, uh, often attributed to his absence of his father, who was uh, touring as a jazz musician throughout Jotaro's, or Jotaro's childhood. Yeah, good I didn't know he's a jazz it musician. Out great for him. Cause he toughed up a lot. At the age of 17, Jotaro was arrested for brutally pummeling four doing, known gang members. Okay, they're doing third church. Uh, knives and nunchucks of all things, with apparently his bare fists. Forty-year-old Jotaro, Jotaro had a what is that? problem. He didn't know how he did it. He knew he was tough, but not that tough. So he came to the only conclusion that makes sense. He was possessed by an evil spirit. <laughs> oh. And vision. He can even phase through bodies and affect star fingers. Their what? If you didn't watch the show, what do, what do you think that would mean, star finger? Most stands can only be damaged by other stands or stand users. So he's basically invincible unless he's fighting another stand. Exactly. In fact, unless you have a stand of your own, you wouldn't even be able to see Star Platinum. Oh, great! So he's invincible. Same stands and such as strength and uh, strength, the cargo ship, are visible to ordinary people. However, these circumstances are dependent on the stand and not the viewer's abilities. And when you combine all that with Jotaro's fighting skills and exceptional cleverness, they make a magnificent team. That's good, because Jotaro soon found out his family's old vampire nemesis was out to get him. <laughs> With Star Platinum at his side, Jotaro didn't just stand up to Dio, he copied Dio's greatest ability, the Time Stop. With this new power, Star Platinum can freeze time everywhere for five seconds. He can do it multiple times. Originally, Time Stop only lasted two seconds, but this uses. increased over Kinda time. Like so I assume that he's doing, they're doing Jotaro at his prime. In the bedroom, ladies. But still, he can friggin' stop time. In Jotaro's case, he may be human, but he's strong enough to smash through stone and- In Eyes of Heaven, Star Platinum learned reality overwrite. However, this and other events characters from Eyes Over Heaven um, are contrary to the primary source and thus omitted. Elite well, then why bring it up? On the other hand, Star Platinum is said to be faster than- What light. is that picture? Sure. Technically, he can because he can stop time or whatever, but he can't really move that fast normally, right? Well, maybe. Star Platinum has matched his speed with another stand called Silver Chariot. Silver Chariot previously defeated a different stand called Hangman. Long story short, Hangman moves between reflections at light speed, and Silver Chariot caught him in mid-movement. Granted, Silver Chariot had to use an elaborate plan to force Hangman into moving in a predictable direction. If Silver Chariot was truly faster than light, he wouldn't have needed to resort to such a plan. 
But the fact he caught Hanged Man at all is proof enough that he's at least close to light speed. So that means Star Platinum is close to light speed too. And he's got the super strength to back up his super Star Platinum speed. is strong, strongest within... Wait, what does that say? Star Platinum is strongest within about 10 feet of Jotaro's vicinity. Any further... Uh, Exponentially lowers. Okay, so they're talking about how stands get weaker uh, if they're the farther away they are from their user. Roller. That's around 60 tons. He broke the top of this building off and threw it like a javelin. And then there's <laughs> the time that he broke a giant monster lady's teeth that were harder than diamonds. The definition of hardness refers to an object protection from scratches. But we could also compare this to pressure resistance or the possibility of fracture through a diamond's cleavage. <laughs> Not that kind of cleavage. <clears throat> The toughest diamonds break around 600 right. gigapascals. This means Star Platinum can clearly strike with a force equivalent to 3 million tons. Turns out diamonds aren't forever when Star Platinum's around. <laughs> what can't this guy do? Sounds like nobody could beat him. Maybe not, but unlike Stan's, Jotaro isn't invincible or invisible. And whenever Jotaro is hurt, Star Platinum feels the same pain. In fact, when a stand user dies, so does their stand, and vice versa. For dire situations, Jotaro has mastered his family's long successful secret technique, running away. That is the greatest thing in any uh, in anything. My secret plan, and then just disappears. That's great. Sure. That's amazing. But with a guy like Star Platinum having his back, I don't think Jotaro has a whole lot to worry about. These two are one kick-ass duo and stylish. Your receipt. You can keep the freaking change. What do you guys think? English dubs or uh, Japanese dubs? It's Which is better? Of the I century, personally think the Japanese the dubs are better. Has been ruined. In this apocalyptic age, the strong survive and the weak kneel. Only one man challenges this new society. And fortunately, he has the literal power to do it. Kenshiro, best of the North Star. Like most important protagonists, Kenshiro began his journey to greatness as a young orphan. Lucky for him, he eventually met old man Ryukin, who was a pretty cool dude. Ended up adopting Kenshiro along with a few other kids. He was also the 63rd Densosha. What does that Densho mean? What? It's on safety. A grandmaster of an ancient Shikin is a world art called Hokuta Shinken. While anyone can learn the basics of this dangerous okay. fighting style, there can only Directly ever be translate one to Big Dipper Godfist. Wow. So that's what Kenjiro set out to be. And with patience, training, and plenty of muscle building, he was named the next successor of Hakuna You are Tyson. shock. I don't know what that means, but I hope pissed, people who like watch Fist of the North, Fist of the North Star understood that. With Hokuto Shinken mastered, Kenshiro can focus his energy into his strikes, effectively killing an opponent with a single blow to their pressure points. There are 708 malleable pressure points in the human body, and striking any of them can cause all sorts of effects. Stunning, blinding, healing, restoring memories, making people walk backward. But mostly, they just make people explode. Anyway, things don't. Is that a real thing? Kenshiro's uh, techniques are not limited to the, just the human body's pressure points, as they also have affected animals and vehicles. And when did you get back in here? Uh, at some point. Cause I was. <gasps> I was literally waiting up at the front desk for you. Oh my bad. I thought you were like waiting on Adam. Uh uh. Uh no, he pissed me off. Are you recording? I am. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that much longer. He even got engaged, but then nuclear war broke out and turned the earth into Mad Max land. Kinch Rose's fiance got kidnapped, and this guy used his knife fingers to draw a nifty big dipper on Kenshiro's chest. That's ironic. How is he not dead after that? Miraculously, Kenshiro survived and began his wayward journey, wandering the wasteland searching for revenge. And if we go by how many people he blew up, I'd say he got plenty of it. He really does leave a big mess behind. I can't even imagine what it must be like to clean up after one of his fights. He's also professional with nunchaku no and stave weapons. What's a stave weapon? Moves like his bone-crushing fist, spilling wheel-exploding fist, and hundred crack fist. Huh. Seen him kill all these people from the inside out reminds me a lot of my ex-wife. Um, how? Emotionally, whiz. Most of the time, his body increases his, three, even his, his strength right by three hundred thirty-three percent. Yikes! To explain to his foes how they're about to die right before they explode. You think you can beat me with a finger? 
That finger struck the hidden vital point known as Gakuchu. There's no use fighting now. They're already dead. Kurama <laughs> <laughs> data isn't just for blowing up people. Sure, Kenshiro has developed a number of legendary techniques, such as the Tenryu Kokyuho, aka the art of dragons breathing. According to Kenshiro, this unlocked the full potential of his natural abilities, where a normal fighter would only use about 30%. He can utilize Toki or his own natural key. He's also skilled in countering unpredictable fighting styles and slicing opponents with an air. But he can also create mirage images of himself, sense other fighting auras, and fire key based projectiles to attack or defend from a distance. Huh. Oh, uh, and he can perform miracles, like making a mute girl speak. But even that pales in comparison to Hokuto Shinken's ultimate technique, one which no previous Grandmaster ever unlocked, Muso Tensei. Only those who truly understand pain and loss can apply Muso Tensei. With it, Kenshiro draws upon his inner sadness to enter a state of nothingness. From here, he is impervious to attacks, essentially achieving intangibility. This man also, knows Ultra Instinct, is what you're telling me. Allies and rivals. And can even use their techniques. It's not like he needs them. He's already crazy enough on his own. He smashed the bones of a giant with a single hand, broke a metal table just by standing up, and hit a tank so hard it blew up. He's even strong enough to break a skyscraper in half. And then when it collapsed on top of him, he just walked through it. <laughs> just the what? concrete in one floor of what? an average size skyscraper can weigh over 1,000 tons. You think that's tough? He can endure a poison five times stronger than the typical lethal dosage of potassium cyanide. That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't know how strong potassium cyanide is. Lava! Lava! You know how hot lava is? Up to 2,000. Yeah, really freaking hot. That's what. And remember that tank? Before he blew it up, it shot him square on. It did absolutely nothing to him. Seriously, this guy is manly as hell. You all right, the combatants. All right, I said I was gonna uh, predict who's gonna win this after learning the information. <sighs> after learning all of that, the fact this man Kenshiro can literally just not die, um, I think he's gonna win. Most, but it's also hard to say because Jotaro does not technically need to touch him, and Kenshiro actually needs to physically touch him in order to to harm him. As well as the fact that, uh, but Kentra also has the, the distance space moves as well. So it's really hard to say. Um, I'm going to say Jotaro is something because I like Jotaro more. But at this point in time, I think Kentra is going to win. So I think Jotaro, I want Jotaro to win. So that's what we're going with. Are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, these guys are so stylish, you know they're rocking me undies. In a world plagued by despair, darkness. They're not real people. Do I need to censor that? Battle right now. But first, it's time for a yeah. battle. All right. Well, that was a strange commercial. Get here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Can you attack him when he stops time now? Interesting. So he can see Star Flag. Okay. 
<laughs> Damn, me too. <laughs> You gotta stop his heart. Oh, he got him. Man. Me too. What just happened? Well, all Kentro needed to do to win was just to hit it. hit it. But this matchup was far closer than that makes it seem. Of course it was. Kentro spent the whole time fighting Star Platinum, who he couldn't even see. Lucky for him, once he figured that out, his ability to sense other fighting... Kentro has, uh, has seen and fought opponents who he can only detect by sensing their fighting spirit. Stands are, are yes, are officially described as physical manifestations of fighting spirit. All right. Has helped him keep track of SP, but no matter what he did, Kenshiro isn't a stand user, so he couldn't actually hurt Star Platinum. Then again, Star Platinum's own strength wasn't quite enough to hurt Kenshiro much either. Star Platinum's distance limitations meant chasing Kenshiro down wasn't a viable option, giving Kenshiro plenty of, of safe space to operate. One of for. Star Platinum's greatest strength feats involves breaking and throwing a small section of a building. In comparison, Kenshiro broke an entire building, let it fall on him, and acted like it wasn't even there. Also, while Jotaro may be Kenshiro has survived potentially fatal wounds more than what Star Platinum typically delivers. Durability and straightforward approach meant there really wasn't anything for him to pick apart here. Yeah. Kenshiro did have trouble with Jotaro's time stopping and Star Platinum's speed. However, with his awesome durability plus multiple beings have taken advantage of time stop limits uh, limits stand user bug eaten use more environment use the environment tr to trick Jotaro into getting hurt despite use uh, the use of time stop. That's so true. That did happen. Ability when using Muso Tensei. Kentro <coughs> Bugs eaten is a rat that also has a stand power, oh, yeah. which is like you beat the most you beat a vampire. That literally had the ability to stop time, but you can't beat a rat. Mm. <laughs> Survive the time stops. And the time stops cooldowns between uses gave Kentro enough time to work around them. The time stop has been worked around by foes in Jotaro's past before. And as far as speed was concerned, Kentro may yeah. not have been faster than Star, but a mix of Mutsu Tensei and Mirage clones were more than enough to get by. And let's be real, Jotaro never stood a chance against Kenshiro by himself. In the end, both combatants had plenty of advantages, but Kenshiro's techniques and overwhelming power ended this fight. Jojo didn't stand a chance. Get out of here. The winner is Kenshiro. Well, all right, what's the next time? Hey guys, thanks for watching this death battle. If you want to see exclusive commentary, click that link right over there. And if you guys want to pick up the fight tracks of this episode, link in the description. There, there it is. I was like... Crash? And Crash versus Spyro? That's gonna be lit! Alright. I lost. So, what we're gonna do is for, since this, uh... Since this is Fist of the North Star, send me all of your, uh, all of your Omaiwa memes in the comments down below, and I'll... <laughs> I'll, I'll definitely watch all of them. I can't say I'll react to all of them, but I will watch all of them all right if you guys enjoyed the video give the video a like subscribe all that stuff uh that's it later